Hi, 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 and welcome to Roulette's Play Her Story. Now, Her Story is a game that's been made by one of the lesser played, but still one of my favorite Silent Hills, Shattered Memories. And when this came out, I was really excited to play it, and I figured you guys might want to watch it as well. So I decided to make a Let's Play of it. Since I'm no longer going to be doing Resident Evil on the weekends other than the stream, other than today's episode, I'm going to go ahead and make her story our weekend uh, episodes. Sound good to you guys? Hope so. Let's get started. The basic premise of this is there's a woman who is in prison and has been interviewed seven times. And as the detective, you kind of have to piece together her story and figure out what really happened. Okay, let's see. Enter parade, search scene. Okay. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? So I'm guessing that's her initial interview. Yeah, that's me. But February, I mean, that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? I usually am fairly good. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Yeah. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. Okay, so... Sounds like she's been denying the entire time. Alright, let's check out more about Simon. Oh jeez. 61 entries found. <laughs> I have a feeling that I need to not be storing every single thing that we have. <laughs> Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Sam does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really beautiful things. Hmm. She has no emotion in her eyes when she talks about these things at all. Um, Sam is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. Um, he's clean shaven. If his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, I'm guessing our interviewer is ginger. They said a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. Holiday. Okay, so I'm guessing at this time... Um, she... Uh, is basically trying to put in a missing uh, person's report. Sounds like maybe. In case I need to come back and remember about Rome. It's the Rockington Arms. The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. 
Okay, so I'm guessing that's his last known address. Not address, but last known yes. destination. It's an Amstrad one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. You know, climb the tower. Oh, God. Save the princess. That kind of thing. Hmm. So, does he have a computer is the basic question there. That doesn't seem important to me, though. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him. Clearly he'd rather say, stay home. There must have been some kind of accident. Climb tower, say princesses. So what do we do next? Hmm. Let's check later. Uh, this is March 7th. So let's check around uh, 0308, 94. Hmm. Okay. 30794? Oh, maybe that's what this one is. Oh no, that's my history. That's a statement. Anti glare filter. Oh god. Wow. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Computer te technology is the backbone of modern police work. The logic database is one of the uh, many continuing efforts to digest, uh, digitize, sorry, digest, <laughs> digitize our workflow, uh, workflow and preserve evidence in a manner which will allow you to work more efficiently. In the coming years, the computer will continue to be the most valuable item in your crime-fighting toolkit. This database contains footage transferred from the existing homicide and serious crime tape archive in Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Per Portsmouth. <laughs> uh, it's been automatically sorted using our ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately so they can be tagged for submission to court. The audio has been digitally stenographed and can, the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. To retrieve a clip, type in the word robbery into the search, click search, and database will return all clips which the speaker uses that word. To narrow a search down, use multiple words. If you're working from a printed transcript, you can be even more precise. Use inverted commas to search for an entire match. Yes, I was there. To store a clip for later reference, click Add Session. Also, if you wish to add additional tags of your own to help future searches, please click on the User Tags box. Further assistance, contact them. Does that work? Ah, look at that, it does work. <laughs> How about anything in the... Ooh. Ah. <laughs> oh, you have to play against yourself. It's nowhere near as fun. Okay, do you stop? <laughs> what is this? What in the world? Can I make this bigger? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, wow. Cracks with class. Mirror game, HSoft, Cyber Ghost, Legend, You Never See Us, Lucian. One for the mums here. Classic two-player strategy for lunchtime gaming. Enjoy. I wonder if we got... Hey, here's the database. I filed a freedom of information form to get you guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos off the original tapes out of 1999, and then the Y2K thing hit and they got mothballed. No one said some sense. I couldn't find the server which the detective footage was on. Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97, but figured this would be enough to take your time, SB. Okay. So let's check out Simon Smith. Oh, that's the only time that she says his full name then, I guess. Um... The Rock. <laughs> mentions it a few other times. Oh, these are later, it looks like. Let's check this one first. So, 
It was Friday evening. We had an argument. He left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. They had a job. He didn't show. So Eric was ringing on the phone. I checked at the rock. The That's our call. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. He still wasn't back this morning. It just isn't like him at all. Still not back by dinner time. It's getting dark again. So I decided to come see you. His parents haven't heard anything either. Okay, so it was a Friday. And at that session, let's watch these. Oh God, I don't know. I mean, I guess The Rock. You've spoken to everyone there. Someone must have seen where he went. I don't know. So many things could have gone wrong. Hmm. I forgot, this is written uh, day, then month, then year. So that wasn't March 7th, that was July 3rd. No, no one has been in the last few weeks. We had a plumber come in three, four weeks ago. Someone sang with you from the rock. Hmm, plumber. Let's find out more about the plumber. Oh, that's the only time she mentions it. This must not be that important. Uh, find out more about this Eric person. 14 entries. He was wearing um, a shirt. No shit. <laughs> a blue turtleneck shirt. Thank you. And jeans. He has a watch. It's a really nice one. That was a gift from his boss, Eric. Mm, he had his coat. A long grey duffel coat. Black pants and bear. Uh, he would have taken that with him. It's not in the house. They say when you look down and to the right, you're remembering something from your... No, it's down to the left, so she's lying. Or, well, I guess that's really hard to apply these kinds of things since it's an actor acting, huh? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so... What he was wearing... Go ahead and save that. Yes, there's a car that we share of Cavalier and a van he uses for work. It's owned by Eric, but we look after it. Both of them are there now, parked on the street. I'm not sure about the keys for the van. I can look for you when I get back. Okay, so they're both there, but she doesn't... Hmm. Might want to look more into the van. Could be used to transport bodies. Yes, yeah. that would be in his wallet. It's a visa, a silver one. He doesn't like to spend money he doesn't have, so he usually pays with cash, but Eric convinced him to get one. Well, Eric was like an uncle to him. They were pretty close. They spend a lot of time with each other, especially when they have to go to conferences. Have you met his wife, Diane? Why did she have a black eye? Go ahead and add that one because I need to remember her her the wife's name, which I probably will forget. S see if it's, um, maybe that's two words. There we go. Let's find out why she has a black eye. If one of us got hurt, the other one would have to be hurt too. A grazed knee, a bruise. When I lost my tooth first, we had to pull a harness to match. What? Once, I slept with a boy who was seeing another girl. The girlfriend came up to Hannah the next day and punched her in the face, gave her a huge black eye. That night, she had to do the same to me. And she almost went too far. I couldn't see out of that eye for days. Wow. 
So much of our bodies were synchronised anyway. We started our period on the same day, all our childhood diseases, stomach bugs, nits. She has a really fucked up relationship with her sister. Seems like, wow. Seems a little desperate in this one. This one looks like it's a lie detector, though. My name is Hannah. H A N N A H. It's Poundre. It reads the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work if you merit, though. It's not quite symmetrical, but well, I mean, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith, I live at 31 Gladstone Street. Okay, so are we interviewing two different women then? talks to herself, so she doesn't have a flip sister, she just communicates So I'm guessing something happened That's interesting So I'm guessing her sister lost her significant other, so they had to match, so something happened to... Yes. My name is Hannah Smith. Simon. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys find this interesting, if I should continue this series or not. It's definitely a different type of game that you piece together here. So if it's not your style and you guys don't want it, let me know in the comments below, okay? Thanks so much for your support and for putting up with my kooky games I sometimes pick. Hey, sometimes it pays off. You guys liked Enigma. Alright. Bye, everybody! <laughs> oh, I'm begging you. I just want to have a sniff. I just want it for a little bit. <laughs>